Hey everyone, welcome back to the Cubicle 7 channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial going over Foundry Virtual Tabletop, which is a virtual tabletop software that you can use to play our Warhammer games online with friends from all over the world. We have a bunch of Foundry modules for the Warhammer lines that we produce, such as Warhammer 40,000 Roleplay, Imperium Maledictum, Wrath and Glory. We also have Warhammer Age of Sigmar Soulbound. We also have Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. Lots of Foundry modules available over on the website. So again, today's video, we're going to be going over how to use these modules once you purchase them, how to use them within Foundry, how to set everything up. So let's jump straight into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do after you've purchased one of our Warhammer Foundry modules is go to foundryvtt.com and then sign up with a brand new account or sign in if you already have an existing account. The next thing you're going to want to do is click on the hamburger menu in the top left and navigate down to the download software button. From here you can choose what version of Foundry you'd like to download. I've been recommended from one of our Foundry guys over at Cubicle 7 to stick with release 11.3 for the moment as there are some things that may be missing in the latest builds but I'm sure that will get updated soon. Once you have the software downloaded you can leave that for a second. The next important thing to do is check if you have a license purchased. If you don't you're going to have to go ahead and purchase a license in order to use Foundry. You'll then want to navigate to the purchase content button where you can paste in your key that you would have received after you purchased one of our Warhammer Foundry modules from the website. Once you've activated the key you should see the module pop up in the activated content tab down below. Once you've confirmed that you've purchased a license for Foundry and you've activated the content that you purchased on the website feel free to open up the Foundry software. Once you load into Foundry you'll see three tabs up top you'll see game worlds, game systems and add-on modules. The first thing you should do is click on the game systems tab and then navigate to the install system button. Once this is clicked it'll open up a brand new window. What you should do next is type in Warhammer where it says package name within the search bar and then from there you should be able to find the content that you purchased. Once you find that content be sure to click install on the right hand side. Then you can navigate to the add-on modules tab, click the install module button and do the same thing again. Type in Warhammer in the package name search bar. Once you find the module that you want be sure to install it. You can then click on the game worlds tab up top, click the create world button, give your world a name it can be whatever you want but also be sure to select the game system from the drop down menu which you would have previously installed in an earlier step. Once you've done that you can launch your world. For the user be sure to select the game master option and for the password you can leave this blank and just join session but the password is essentially if you're sharing this session with friends and they want to access it they'll have to input this password that you've set in order to join the game session but just click join session for now and here you are you've loaded into your first foundry virtual tabletop world you can see a multitude of tools on the left hand side of the screen but the main thing i want to focus on within this tutorial is the right side of the screen. The first icon tab is chat messages. This is where you can chat with your friends during the session. The next one is combat encounters. The next tab is for scenes. The next tab is the actors tab. You then have the items tab, the journal tab, the rollable tables tab, card stacks, playlists, the compendium packs tab, which is super, super important. It's probably the most important tab within this section. And finally, the settings tab. The first thing I recommend you doing is going to the settings tab and clicking on the manage modules button. From here, you can see the modules that you've installed into Foundry so you should select the ones that you want and save module settings. A pop-up window may appear asking you to reload the session so just click yes. You'll now see an initialization window that has appeared. Before we click anything if you navigate back over to the compendium packs tab on the right hand side you can see everything that has been loaded in. For example for me I've loaded in the core rulebook so I can see the actors, the items, the tables, the journals and the scenes. Something to keep note of is that when this module is loaded in like this within the compendium packs tab it's actually not loaded directly into the world so that's something to keep in mind rather than importing everything into the world and having a bunch of stuff everywhere this is a nice clean way to manage your module. So back to the initialization menu once you click this initialize button it will import all of your journals and your scenes into the world. So now if you navigate to your scenes and your journals tab within your world on the right hand side you can see that these have been imported into your world. However, your actor and your items tab have nothing. If you want to import these into your world, the best thing to do is go to the compendium pack tab, right click on the actors or the items and select import all into world. If you feel like you've ever messed anything up and you want to do a reinitialization, be sure to navigate over to the settings tab on the right hand side and click configure controls. Then click on the module that you want to select on the left hand side. Click the setup button and then from here you can click the initialize button again. So yeah, that's the basics of setting up one of our Warhammer Foundry modules within Foundry Virtual Tabletop. If you guys have any queries or questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. And again, be sure to check out cubicle7games.com for all of our Foundry modules. Thanks again. I'll see you guys in the next one.